When you play against a tall team like the Kansas Jayhawks, you anticipate getting some of your shots blocked away. The Jayhawks average five and a half block shots per ball game. Iowa State, much smaller team, doesn't come up with anywhere near those number of blocks, but you gotta continue to run your offense, keep your focus, pick up that spot on the front edge of the rim and try to get the ball over the front edge. Gregory Collison Boshi, a little strong with the try. Chenoweth had it taken away, and Michael Nurse is gonna push it for Iowa State. And kick it right back out the side of the lane. Iowa State will get a lot of rebounds with their guards. Defensively, they keep five in to rebound. Offensively, they'll just send two in. They'll release a couple players, get back defensively to try to cut down that transition game. Stevie Johnson at 6-4. Pretty good rebounder for Iowa State. Averages about four or five a game. How about the Cyclones coming out in their four-corner offense, wanting to stay away from that trappy defense of Kansas? Gregory with the interception of a nurse pass and stuck it at the other end. KU goes in front. Kenny Gregory. 6'5", junior from Columbus, Ohio. Kansas forces about 19 and a half turnovers per ball game. And when you get steals like that, it's instant points at the other end because you're able to quickly get into your transition game. Now a zone defense for the Jayhawks, a 1-3-1 zone. Inside it goes to Pfizer, double team, rejected the foul. So we talk about Iowa State playing solid defense without fouling. One of the problems for the Jayhawks this year has been the number of fouls that they've been able to pick up and getting people to the free throw line early in the ball game. Marcus Pfizer drawing double team attention right there. Collison on the low side. And Chenoweth coming in from the lane on the back side. Collison charged with a foul. He's fouled out of five games this year. He's very aggressive. The freshman from here in Iowa. Not getting booed very loudly right now. Not like Rafe LaFrance did his freshman year. Larry Stacey has done everything he can to keep everything on a positive note at Iowa State. So talking about their fans, as supportive as they are, they're also a very classy group of fans, and he wants them to come out to Hilton, have a good time, give them the home court advantage, and support his play. Marcus Pizer knocks it at four. They're both the big guys have hit a pair of free throws. Iowa State wanted to travel there. It looked like Jayhawks wanted to run the sideline break. Bradford there, a chance to possibly turn it over, no call made. Bradford an interesting forward, leading his team in assists so far this season. Has Chenoweth down low, and a turnaround fadeaway knocked down by Eric Chenoweth, and he has four points. That is a matchup that should favor the Jayhawks. Collison at 6'9", working against a much smaller Stevie Johnson. Johnson in there at just 6'4", so Collison get the ball down low. He should be able to set up in pretty good shape. Kansas by two. Stevie Johnson hands it to Kendrell Horton. Nurse, a little too close to Collison for comfort to try to shoot it over him. Nurse was the point guard here at Iowa State a season ago. Tinsley comes on campus. He moves over to the number two spot on the floor. Five on the shot clock and a foul on Kansas. Bradford whistled for the foul, his first. Well, Jamal Tinsley knows that he needs to get into the middle of that Kansas defense, and when he gets there, has to make the good decisions. He is an excellent passer, but he needs to get into the middle of the floor, trying to break down Jeff Boshi right there. Boshi doing a good job of keeping his body between the ball handler and the basket. Got a little help on the defensive end. Cantrell Horton is a shooter, and Bradford's going to give him no room to shoot it. Got a little help right there from Chenoweth out of the middle of the defense. Iowa State playing some one-on-one -on -one basketball right now, just seeing if their guards can handle the ball and slice it and get into that middle of the KU defense. That has been a problem for Kansas over the last couple years, negating that ball handling, that dribble drive. Cantrell Horton got his miss back, was blocked by Chenoweth. He's got it again. So here, you try it. Tinsley. Had, had a shot on the on the glass that time, so they got a fresh shot clock. Tinsley got it back, knocked the shot down. It will not count. Chenoweth. It's a great defensive stand by the Jayhawks, doing a good job of playing solid position, then getting taller players with their hands up in the face of the shooters. They swat a couple shots away. Iowa State retains possession. There's the drive into the middle of the defense. Ball still alive. Iowa State working hard. A great block over there by Bradford. And now, away from the ball, that is... Chenoweth working inside against Marcus Pfizer. Pfizer had possession. Chenoweth trying to battle his way towards the ball. That's two fouls on Chenoweth with a long way to go in the first half, 16-27. With all that depth, 
You would think Roy Williams might substitute right here, but so far, no. He's going to stay with Chenoweth, even though he has the two fouls. Iowa State has missed their last six shots from the floor. Tinsley tried to get it down inside to Pfizer, knocked around and out of bounds down in there. It'll be Iowa State basketball with 24 on the shot clock. A lot of intensity early in this ball game. Intensity has been on the defensive end yes. for both teams. Kansas back to that man-to-man -man defense. Michael Nurse, London coming all the way out to get him. Nurse takes him into the circle, throws it up off balance, misses, and Bradford brings down the rebound for Kansas. And nothing but blue jerseys on that defensive glass. Chenoweth, easy bucket inside, and he has a half dozen points. Well, you talk about the points inside, but how about the pass from Nick Bradford? You mentioned earlier, leads the Jayhawks in assists, averages four and a half per ball game, handles the ball out front like a guard. Assist to turnover or two to one? Marcus Pfizer is shooting from outside and missing. And again, it's the Jayhawks on the board. Bradford, London, Collison, Brett, and Bradford Chenoweth got loose down low and now reverse slam. And he has eight, and they are getting mileage out of their center here. And Larry Eustace wants time out to talk about it. They are losing Chenoweth. And it's a 10 4 lead for Kansas. The Jayhawks up by six. We have a timeout here as Chenoweth leading the Jayhawks to an early six point margin. We are back 10 4 Kansas leading Iowa State I gave Chenoweth one of Collison's bucket a moment earlier but they are both playing well today's cargo Big 12 alumni academic achiever is Kansas graduate Gail Sayers a 1965 graduate who had an illustrious career. Cargo cares about education. Take a look at that last Collison basket. Kansas very good when they can swing the ball side to side. Their first option was Chenoweth inside. Collison after the back pick and cut able to get it to the glass finishes with the dunk. Collison with four points nearly going. Chenoweth with four. Kansas back in that zone defense. Iowa State hasn't been able to get anything going offensively. In fact they've gone three minutes without a score. Paul Shirley into the ball game, giving the Cyclones a little more height inside. What done yet is cut it loose from three-point range. Now they drive it inside to Pfizer, working hard in traffic, and the bucket won't go. Rebound, Gregory for Kansas. Not if it goes to London. Iowa State just one for ten from the floor right now. Doing a good job of getting back defensively that time, taking away the break from the Jayhawks. When Rafe LaFrance came back to Iowa to make his first appearance here in Hilton Coliseum, he scored five points on the day. Collison coming back here today has four already. When you talk about the freshman playing for Kansas, they have another one out on the floor right now, and Drew Good. Collison, that's a tough shot, and he knocked it down and has a half dozen points. Well, you can talk Rafe LaFrance all you want, but Collison is going to be an outstanding player in his own right. Roy Williams talking about him before the game today saying some of the things he does now as a freshman better than what Rafe did at that same time in his career. Defensively he's been better, been more consistent, and he likes to bang it inside. Well Tinsley missed an uncontested shot that time. The Cyclones are one for 11. They're going to get it back after a travel and we have a timeout here. It is 12-4 Kansas and we're back after this message from your friends at Phillips 66, the performance company. Today's game is brought to you by Phillips 66, where we put the best in our super clean gasolines so you get the most out of your car. Choose Phillips 66, the performance company. What a terrific start for Kansas on the road here, and here's one big reason why. Well, they have gotten good shots so far. The entry pass to Nick Collison has Paul Shirley on his hip, able to go with the pump fake. Nice inside shot for Nick Collison. He's off to a good start this afternoon. The Joe Hawks just blistering it on the offensive end. Collison has hit all three of his shot attempts. Give all the credit in the world to the Kansas defense here right now. They are simply all over Iowa State. And that is usually the case for the Jayhawks. When they play well offensively, it's usually the defense at the other end that keys it. Now Nurse had a three to wouldn't go. Shirley tough rebound and got a stick back. Paul oh. Shirley a lot stronger than he was two years ago when we saw him. Last year out all season long with a back injury. He's bigger, he's stronger now, and more aggressive both ends of the floor. Luke Axtell on the floor for Kansas. Drew Good and terrific freshman with a turnaround jump shot good. Well, we talk about the freshman. You have to mention Drew Good. 
Kansas. Great game in midweek against Colorado. Came away with 11 points and nine rebounds. Not a starter for this Jayhawk team, but a guy who comes off that bench, gives them points, and averages almost 20 minutes played per game. Kirk Heinrich is on the floor for Kansas. Knocks the ball loose, and a scramble for it. Put up by Iowa State. No, Shirley with an offensive rebound to Pfizer. Back inside, Shirley right there. He's fouled and count the bucket. Iowa State did not have the spacing that they wanted, but a great dump down pass by Pfizer. He knows that he's going to get a lot of attention. Iowa State doing a good job of hustling the offensive glass. Shirley with the rebound right there, the stick back now. After the ball is dumped in by Gooden, Iowa State back to the other end one more time to work it inside. Good action, both ends by the visiting Jayhawks and also Iowa State. Paul Shirley with five quick points coming off the bench, 14-9 Kansas. Stevie Johnson coming out of the game now for Iowa State. See if the Cyclones can make a defensive stand right here. Look at the block shots in that game. There's Kirk Heinrich, a freshman from Iowa, and he was fouled as he got it to the bucket. Fred, that is a trend that we should see continue the rest of the afternoon. The Jayhawks, one of the leading shot-blocking teams in the Big 12. The biggest shot block for Iowa State is their point guard, Jamal Tinsley. That foul was on Paul Shirley. Heinrich here in some booze here in Hilton Coliseum, the freshman from Sioux City, Ohio, I won his first return. I don't think they're nearly as bad as Rafael Prince heard his first time back in here. It's kind of interesting the shoot around this morning, KU having some fun. Roy Williams had his players booing the two freshmen from Iowa every time they touched the ball. And shoot around today, tipped away by Kansas, out of bounds to Iowa State. Players had a good time with that, but also make the players a little bit aware of what they're going to face when they get to the game time. Hilton Coliseum is full here today. Back to the bench goes Jamal Tinsley now. Hawkins in the game at a guard for Iowa State. Michael Nurse, the number two guard, will come back out front to run this ball club. And a steal, and there goes Kirk Heinrich all alone for the stop. Well, Kansas likes to get out in the passing lanes. They will force the issue. They would like an up-tempo game here this afternoon. Have the depth numbers to support that. And it's one of the things that Roy Williams wanted to do this year. A little bit more pressure with the defense. Even with the man-to-man -man defense, he wants to jump out and do some trapping. Well, there's only been one three-point attempt by either team here today. And they've both been misses. Pfizer, tough shot, won't fall. Hawkins in the middle. Brandon Hawkins came out of there with it. Iowa State doing a good job of getting in there and rebounding on the offensive end with their guards. Well, Shirley really being tough and aggressive down inside. Foul that time by Drew Gooden, and Paul Shirley is really working hard inside for Iowa State. Well, Iowa State working the ball around on the perimeter, but continually looking inside. Paul Shirley with a nice move to make himself available to the guard. That Drew Gooden on his hip. A lot of contact inside, and Shirley will be at the free throw line. Shirley has a half dozen points. His season average, nine a game and five rebounds. 16 fouls on Kansas here, only three on Iowa State. The Cyclones are four for four from the free throw line, and so is Kansas. Both sides shooting at welcome strike right now. Well, that's something Iowa State is going to have to continue. This is a team that, while they're having a great year offensively, figure it's going to be a tough afternoon to stand here and slug it out with the Jayhawks and not get something at the free throw line. That's a bad foul. Marcus Pfizer good and bobbled the ball, and Pfizer went after him too aggressively and committed a foul about 40 feet from the basket that time. We have a break here. 11.55 left in our first half. Kirk Heinrich, the freshman from Iowa, with a stunt on his return to Ames. We're back. Subscribers to ESPN the magazine, like Marcus Camby, really look forward to each issue. Where's my magazine? Get 26 issues for just a dollar an issue, and this windbreaker is free. It's wind and water resistant with an embroidered ESPN the magazine logo. Hey, man. That's my ESPN the magazine. Go order your own. Call now for ESPN the magazine and free windbreaker. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for some football? <laughs> Let's be 
biggest event in television is coming to ABC. Get ready for Super Bowl 34, Sunday, January 30th. Time now for our Bank of America salute to excellence trivia question. Which Big 12 team led the conference in block shots during the 98-99 season? Get the answer on the web by checking www.big12sports.com. Kansas by 7, 11.55 left in the first half. Kirk Heinrich, the freshman from Sioux City. Drew Gooden with a miss. That time it was Iowa State on the boards. Kentrell Horton. Iowa State has kind of picked up the tempo over the last couple of minutes. They were in a position to maybe get blown out early in this one by the hot shooting Jayhawks, but they're trying to scratch their way back into this. And then Hawkins tough shooting left that time as he tried to knock down a bank shot. Now Hawkins out of the game. Stevie Johnson back in. It's Horton, Shirley, Pfizer, Nurse. Iowa State with the biggest team that they can possibly get on the floor right now with Shirley Johnson and Pfizer up front. A shot to Johnson out front to Collison. Now Heinrich. Axtell looking for a shot that isn't there. 16 on the shot clock for Kansas. Collison drops it inside and there's a whistle blowing. And a foul as the ball comes down to the baseline. 11-10 left in our first half. Kansas holding firmly to the lead over Iowa State. That was on Marcus Beiser. That's his second. Iowa Back. State continues to play that man-to-man -man defense. Lee Daxtell working strong with the body right there. Got the elbow out a little bit too far on his spin move. See if we can see what happened. A little bit of shoulder movement right there as he leans in against the much smaller Stevie Johnson. We talk about the Cyclones having the biggest team that they can possibly put on the floor and still not anywhere near the kind of height that the Jayhawks throw at him. Maxwell got a hand on it, saved by Iowa State. KU extends that defense, but they won't let you start your offense down very low. It's a huge ball game for the Iowa State Cyclones, a club that is off to a great start in preseason. They continue to in conference play. But Pfizer just pulled his way to the basket, couldn't knock the shot down. Now the scramble for the loose ball, and it belongs to Iowa State. Let's take a look at that last entry pass and the catch inside. You want to have your big, strong players inside with soft hands so that they can control the pass. Not a great pass as Luke Axtell got a hand on it, but Pfizer able to control it, get it to glass. He needs to hit a high percentage of those shots if he can get it in that close. He is just one for six in this game. Pfizer claims the rebound, kicks it off. Kentrell Horton's going to push it up. Fires it inside to Shirley. Collison with the bump. Shirley working hard, kicks it back out. Deflected by Axtell. Kansas is just all over him on defense. Well, that was a great look by Horton coming into the offensive end. He found Paul Shirley wide open. Kansas Jayhawks did a nice job of recognizing the open player. Reacted very quickly defensively. Didn't give up any points. The Cyclones are going to have to restart that offense. Shirley Roy Williams likes what he's seeing out of his team here right now. They've hit seven out of ten shots from the floor. Well, Iowa State is just three for 19. And they've done a nice job of neutralizing this huge Iowa State crowd. That's Horton. Inside, Pfizer, Chenoweth right there. And Heinrich's helping with a double team. Tinsley, off-balance shot, good. Jamel Tinsley knocks one down, his first bucket of the day. Iowa State would like to get something going from out on the perimeter to try to take away the double team on Pfizer. And I believe we have a turnover by the Jayhawks. They stepped on the line down at the end, throwing it in. There's Tinsley spotting up on the perimeter. Heinrich doing a, a good job of getting back out on that shooter. On the inbounds pass. Stevie Johnson on the inbounds pass. His first bucket. Now the crowd into it and aims. It's a three-point ball game. And listen to the crowd in Hilton Coliseum. A shot to Johnson. Weiser muscles the rebound off of there. And a foul called on Kansas. And all of a sudden, the Cyclones and their crowd have come to life and ends. Iowa State wanted to be cautious in the beginning because they respected the Jayhawks and what they could do with their defense. Now that the Cyclones have gotten it going a little bit, they're using their defense to inspire this crowd. Bradford with the foul, and Iowa State will shoot free throws at the other end. 
That's his second foul. Marcus Pfizer, four points, two for two at the line, and a 70% shooter up there now with his club back within three of Kansas. First miss at the free throw line by either side today. So Kansas holds the three point lead. Behind the Iowa State bench, Martin Rancic, a player who's injured, waving his arms, getting the crowd going. Gregory walked to the basketball. Back to Iowa State it comes, still a three point lead. Now you see the Kansas wants to use the height advantage that they have on some of the perimeter players. And that time, Gregory trying to work inside against a smaller defender, trying to get in close to the basket to get a, a shot off the glass. Marlon London replaces Gregory for Kansas. Here come the Cyclones, down by three. Kinsley's one for five, Pfizer one for six. If that begins to change, you might see an Iowa State run. Kansas drops back into his own defense. They want to see the Cyclones do something from out on the perimeter rather than getting in the middle of the defense. Kinsley spotted up, three-point range. Trying to break him down, can't get the shot from three. Got it rejected in the lane. Back to Johnson, a little 10-footer. Won't fall, and Iowa State just can't knock him down. They are five for 22 now. Well, one of the problems the Jayhawks pose to their opponents with all the size and guys working with their hands over their head, even when you get mid-range shots, you're shooting over hands. Chenoweth with an easy bucket down low, has eight points. Kansas back up by five with 840 left in the first half. When post players get the ball, they want to do something with it very quickly. Chenoweth quick with his move to the glass that time. Nobody able to double down against him. Shirley with a quick turnaround jumper, way too strong, and Pfizer might have drawn his third foul. Iowa State doing a good job out on the perimeter, finding their interior players and getting the ball in their hands. Check out another look. The bounce pass, Shirley with a shot in his range, didn't come close. Did that foul go on Pfizer? If it, it is, did. that's his third, and he's over at the bench. It's his third foul, and he is over on the bench right now with 8.26 left in the first half. He hasn't fouled out of a game this year. Boy, they can't afford to have him sitting down for long periods of time, and he may be down for the rest of the half. It's a five-point lead to Kansas at the moment. Big battle right there, Collison against Johnson. Oh, what a shot. Well, Jeff Boshi makes that play, swinging the ball out on the perimeter, Collison working without it, big battle inside. He knows he's got a size and a strength advantage. Get him the ball when he frees himself up on that low post. Collison with eight points. Good start for the Jayhawk freshman. Kansas continues to play their zone defense. Three one zone. They're able to keep pressure on the ball that way. Well, Tinsley just threw up a wild shot. Didn't get it. Here comes Kansas Boshi. Kentrell Horton trying to stop him, and he fires a three that won't go. Tinsley's going to push it up on the break. He's got Shirley in front of him, and Stevie Johnson coming from the wing. One of the things the Cyclones do very well is run that player on the floor. The number four player, the inside forward, either Marcus Pfizer, Stevie Johnson, and what they hope for is that guy will beat the other forwards down the floor. They've done it continually throughout this season. That time got it done with Stevie Johnson. Second foul on Stevie Johnson, though, at the other end, and there's some guys kind of headed for foul trouble here. Pfizer sitting down with three, and a number of players with two. Nick Collison back to the line, the 6'9 freshman from Iowa Falls. At the Falls City High School, let him to a state championship. And he and Heinrich shared the Mr. Basketball title in Iowa last year. Now the ball out of bounds. And the clock is going to stop play here. 7.21 left in our first half. Kansas with a five-point lead. We're back. After this message from your friends at Phillips 66, the performance company. It has been all Kansas so far in the early going here. Iowa State took a quick two-point lead. The rest of the way has been KU. They're up by five with 721 left in the first half. There we are. Fred White along with Paul Splitorf. Nice to have you with us here this afternoon. <laughs> That's Paul with the rainbow here. I was going to say, where did you get all those colors? <laughs> Thank you, guys. We love you, too. Kansas with the inbounds pass. Shirley with the takeaway. Important minutes now for Iowa State playing without Marcus Pfizer, who is in on the bench with three fouls. And Chenoweth with a block of a Tinsley try. 
You saw Missouri's big win over Texas A&M today. So Missouri hanging in there in that conference race. The Tigers now go to five and one. Fred, you take a look at the Big 12 Conference in the first three weekends in conference play. The two surprise teams would be the Missouri Tigers and these Iowa State Cyclones. Club the Clown playing well. The double team takes it away from Tinsley, Chenoweth, and London out on the break. And London with a spinning shot that won't fall. Shirley claims the rebound. The only big man on the floor for Iowa State right now. Marcus Pfizer sat down with three fouls with 8.26 left in the half. Chenoweth with a nice job that time of getting out on the floor, but also giving the ball up early to the point guard. Let him get it to the offensive end, create the shot. Shirley battling down inside and getting rejected twice. Iowa State wants to pound it inside, even though they're in there against bigger players. They feel that they are a stronger team physically, and if they can get in there, they've got a chance to make some good things happen. Shirley and Chenoweth match up down low on a nice soft bank shot. And Chenoweth has eight points in the early goal. Well, Chenoweth can step out and give you some range, even working against a similarly sized player. He's got a nice jump shot, keeps the ball elevated, able to shoot it over the defense. There's the turnover numbers. Kansas with eight so far today. Iowa State has four. There hasn't been much three-point shooting so far today. And now, Cantrell Horton, just as I said that, knocks down the first three of the afternoon. Well, the game is really getting rugged inside, and without three-point shooting, it's going to be that way the rest of the afternoon. Team that gets it going from out on the perimeter should find some more room inside. Bradford to Collison, fouled by Paul Shirley. And again, it's Nick Bradford handling the ball out front, willing to give it up, making good passes inside. There you stay. She wants the same foul called at the other end that he just had called against Paul Shirley. That's two on Paul Shirley. Remember, Pfizer sitting down with three. If Shirley gets that third, that is all the size Iowa State has. Nick Collison to the free throw line. Has missed his only attempt today, has eight points. Previous play, the call that Larry Eustace wanted, the entry pass to Paul Shirley, working against Eric Chenoweth. Chenoweth with his hands straight up in the air. The battle for the loose ball goes on inside. No whistle there. There you stay. She wants his guys to big up a little bit inside. Keep those Jayhawks off the boards. Collison now with his ninth point of the afternoon. 25-20 Kansas, 5.34 left and a half. Iowa State hanging around here within five, seven points and not shooting the ball well. They spread the floor. They would like to use some shot clock, plus open things up inside. Stay away the from corner. the trap. One of the four corners here, and Tinsley loses the basketball. Iowa State did what they wanted to do that time, keeping their spacing. Try to stay away from the double team pressure, but that time dribbling the ball on the sideline, it went out of bounds. Turn over, the Jayhawks get it back. Kansas has the three freshmen on the floor right now. Heinrich, Collison, and Drew Gooden are all in the ball game, along with Gregory and Bradford. Kansas, one of the ranked teams in the country, still a very young team. There are not many seniors on their roster. Ranked number 12 by the AP. Gregory Tip won't go. Shirley calls down another tough rebound. He's doing a job. That's his sixth rebound of the day. Horton, they left him alone, and he got it. A pair of trays. Had Nurse in the corner. He had that open shot. A little pump fake set the defense to the corner. He took the wide open jumper. He's hit two straight. And now it's a two point game. Collison, Gregory, floater in the lane won't go. Gooden's tip will. Fourth point for Drew Gooden. You don't hear a lot about Drew Gooden, but he gets so many things done for the Jayhawks. Averaging almost 11 points per ball game, right at 50% shooting. Moves well without the ball, does a good job of getting to the offensive place. In the lane, floater, no. Rebound, Gregory for Kansas to Bradford. And Iowa State had two guys back to stop it. Well, every time they shoot the ball, two guys release to go back to the defensive end. They cannot afford to give up transition baskets. Ball knocked loose by Michael Nurse. And a shot blocked down in there by Tinsley. He's an amazing shot blocker for little guy. And Michael Nurse runs it down, open court. A whistle blowing and a foul. It happened back up court on Kenny Gregory, his first. Tremendous work both ends of the floor. Look at that pass from Bradford. Inside to Gregory. It's swatted away by Tinsley. He is the leading shot blocker for this Iowa State basketball team. Then Michael Nurse with the slap. He knocks it loose. Gregory had already picked up the foul by then. No shot at the glass there. We're 
was swatted away by Gregory. Good action, both ends of the floor. Boy, Tinsley's 23rd block of the year. Michael Nurse hasn't scored yet today. 64% free throw shooter. There have been a couple times here in the first half, Fred, that Iowa State has really looked windy. This is one of them. Well, he Stacy saying early he wasn't worried about minutes and conditioning. He felt they were in really great shape, but yeah, this is an up-tempo ball game. Yeah. Iowa State a couple weeks ago had a two overtime game against Oklahoma. Michael Nurse played all 50 minutes. Two-point ball game now, 3.57 left in the first half, and the crowd here in Hilton Coliseum beginning to sense a cyclone comeback. We'll be right back. With the three. Well, let's check the score now. Sooners on top, 31-24. Let's go back out to Fred and Paul in Ames. Oklahoma, Calvin Sampson, fifth year at Oklahoma. What a job he has done down there. Take a look at field goal shooting here. Iowa State at one time, one for 11 from the floor, starting to pick up the pace a bit now. And Kansas really shooting it well on the road. Well, Iowa, State, out of 20. Iowa State with 33 shots, Fred. Eight of those have been blocked, and they've been able to pick up most of those balls, get some second efforts. It's kind of kept them in this thing. Also, they're starting to shoot well from three-point range. Kansas, after a red-hot start, they were 7 of 8 from the field, have hit just four out of their last 12 field goal attempts. Luke Axtell, strong with his first three-point try. Here comes Iowa State with a chance to tie or take the lead. Crowd. Ken Trillard. Can, or the crowd very much a part of this ball game right now. The Cyclones want to be patient on the offensive end. Uh, Michael Nurse just put the Cyclones in front with a long range three. And he was closer to the sideline that time than he was to the three line. Said they wanted to be patient. He must have felt that one. Oh, what a shot. And the Cyclones in front, and the crowd of names on their feet and roaring with 3.14 left in the half. Luke Axtell tries to answer Kent. Big rebound for Kenny Gregory. Well, Luke Axtell is the player for Kansas that can match anybody in this league for range. He will get up to the three line, doesn't have to be there to hit a high percentage of his shots. Drew Gooden, shot one fall. Chenoweth had it, and it's out of bounds to Iowa State. The Cyclones have the lead and the basketball with 2.57 left in the half. Look at this. Watch Nurse. Nurse just saw the defense. Kenny Gregory back off a step, had room to shoot it. He's got the green light. And is he getting it done from three-point range this year? 42% on the season. And look at the offensive rebounds. Iowa State doing a great job on the offensive glass. And those are hustle rebounds. They are not able to get inside and move the Jayhawks around. They're just working as hard as they can. Michael Nurse has 47 three-point field goals this year, just 31 from two, and Kentrell Horton. A little short with that try. Heinrich looking hard to get a hand in the face of the shooter that time. Might have been a factor in the shot. Heinrich down at the baseline. Foul. A lot of people willing to drive the ball to the basket. A lot of intensity in this game, as we mentioned earlier. Iowa State now up by one. Kirk Heinrich has had some really good moments for the Jayhawks this year. In fact, there have been ball games where Jeff Boshi's gotten off to a slow start. Heinrich has gotten onto the floor and actually given the Jayhawks a spark. And so many of the other freshmen for Kansas, they don't play like freshmen. No, they sure don't. They have three outstanding freshmen. Heinrich and this coming up at halftime on the Nashville Car Rental Halftime Report. Scores and highlights from Top 25 College Basketball and a feature on Desmond Mason of Oklahoma State. Heinrich knocks the second one down. He has five. We're tied at 28 with 225 left in the first half. Tinsley ran at him that time, and Michael Nurse had it in the lane, brought it back out. One of the things that Tinley does so well is recognize the defense. And a lot of time yesterday preparing for the Jayhawks. What do we want to do offensively when they line up in a particular defense? Nurse to Horton, 13 on the shot clock. Horton took it in, got double teamed by Axtell and Gooden. Now moves on Axtell, throws it back in the corner. Five on the shot clock. Johnson blocked by Gooden. In the corner it goes. It's out of bounds. Two seconds on the shot clock for Iowa State. When they throw it in, they're going to have to throw it in and shoot it in a hurry. They should be able to do that on that inbounds pass. Most of the shots come immediately after the pass. Stevie Johnson off target with it. And stolen back by Jamal Tinsley and a foul. On Nick Collison. Second foul on Nick Collison and just simple hustle and a little momentary lapse on the part of Kansas. Collison thought he was all alone for that rebound, but good hustle inside by Tinsley, able to get a hand on it, knock it away. Collison with the grab, got a piece of his jersey. 
Tinsley on the line, first time today. 63% shooter and too strong with a try. Now substitution for Kansas. Jeff Perry is in. And Collison out. Shirley comes out for Iowa State. Boy, they really go small now. Richard Evans on the floor. You see Tinsley's numbers there, Fred, actually doing better than this in conference play. He's averaging about 13 and a half points per game in conference. More assists in conference than he did in preseason and overall. Really playing well now for Iowa State. 29, 28 Cyclones. 144 left and a half and a very, very small lineup out there for Iowa State. Now with Shirley and Pfizer both on the bench. Gregory roaring into the lane and going to be called for a charging foul. His second foul. Defense by the Cyclones, and they get it back. Well, Richard Evans just into the ball game. He is the eighth man in what is turning into a seven-man rotation for Iowa State. Probably not the position that he would like to be in, but made a great defensive move, filling the middle of the lane as he saw Gregory on the drop. Iowa State, 5 of 12 in their current run. Two of those five field goals have been three-pointers. It's the three by Kentrell Horton really that got him started into this surge. Well, suddenly now they have a couple guys that hit from the perimeter. Horton one, Nurse on the other wing. Iowa State now that small lineup content to run a little clock. Nine on the shot clock, 109 left and a half. Well, they know that they don't have the number of likes in jail. <laughs> oh, Michael Nurse with his second shot from way downtown. And the three ball can be the difference. Woo! Remember last year, Iowa State couldn't buy any three pointers. They they're one of the lowest scoring teams in the Big 12 this year. They're one of the highest. Though she stripped as he tried to get a shot up, Tinsley got a hand on it. It's out of bounds to Kansas. 50 seconds left in the half, 23 on the shot clock, and the Cyclones lead by four. And their fans really responding to their efforts. Carry to Gooden, to Boshi, trying a three. Got knocked down. He got it. Jeff Boshi with his first three ball of the game. So Jeff, and the Boshi, first three for Kansas. Jeff Boshi over the last couple of years, Fred, has wanted to take the key shot and has hit a good percentage of it. Big three-point effort right there. That is Kansas' first three ball of the game. So that's now back off. Iowa State again, very patient. Iowa State will not have the last possession. There's five more seconds on the game clock than there is on the shot clock. Twelve on the shot clock. Horton. Nurse, Tinsley, they've got him just spread around the perimeter looking for the three. Nurse takes it in heavy traffic, tried to kick it out, stolen by Kansas. Boshi, they come up two on one against Tinsley, and Kenny Gregory finishes at the other end, his fourth point. Now two seconds left in the half. Cantrell Horton with one that's off the side. And it has been a battle in the first half, and Kansas will take a one-point lead to the locker room, 33-32. But Iowa State, after a dismal shooting start, hanging around, and down just the one, you see Roy Williams walking off his club with a one-point lead. So we are at halftime, 33-32 Kansas. When we come back, Doug Bell is waiting at Studio 66 to tell you what's happening in college basketball today. Shout. 33-32 Kansas halftime here in Ames. When you see the Buick stats here in a few minutes and look at shooting percentages, you'll wonder why it's a one-point ball game. The simple answer is that Iowa State threw up a lot more shots than Kansas. Looked like they might get knocked out of it early, but they didn't, Paul. They've been in trouble a couple times in the ball game. Hit just one of their first 12 shots. They were in trouble, but found a way to stay into it. Thought they were in trouble when Marcus Pfizer got his third foul of the ball game at the eight and a half minute mark. Instead, they started hitting three point shots. Find themselves in it at halftime. Down by just one, and let's take a look at the Shelter Insurance first half highlights here. Well, the ball game started off with Kansas using their defense to pick up points. This is Kurt Heinrich with the steal, the dunk. He has five points at the break. Then the Cyclones got it going, and Jamal Tinsley leading the way for Iowa State. Got in the middle of the Kansas defense. Picks up an assist right there. He has four assists at the break. Marcus Pfizer just four points in the first half, and maybe more importantly, three fouls. Iowa State took their first lead on this shot, the three-pointer from Michael Nurse. He's two of three from three-point range. He has eight points at the break. And Jeff Boshi hit a key three-pointer for Kansas late in that first half. That is Boshi's only three, Kansas only three of the first 20 minutes. For your life, home, car, farm, or business, shelter insurance. We'll always be there for you. 
Now let's take a look at the Buick first half stats. Look at that. 52% Kansas, 26% for Iowa State in this one-point ballgame. Well, you take a look at the rebounds for Iowa State. 23 rebounds, 14 of those were on the offensive end. Then points off turnovers. Turnovers have certainly been a big factor in the ballgame. Iowa State able to hang in there with the offensive rebound and points off turnovers. One more number as we go away. Kansas has blocked nine shots. We'll be right back after this message from your friends at Phillips 66, the performance company. All is brought to you by Phillips 66, where we put the best in our super clean gasolines so you can get the most out of your car. Choose Phillips 66, the performance company. Cyclones down one to start the second half. There are the scores. Nurse knocked down those two long trays, has eight. Shirley off the, really playing strongly off the bench. Seven points, seven rebounds for Iowa State. Collison with a strong start with nine and Chenoweth with eight. You can see the Jayhawks early hurting Iowa State with their inside play. Iowa State started finding the answer from the outside. Kansas really started this game strongly, Paul. Yeah, they started strong trying to pound the ball inside, and I think you anticipate them trying to do the same thing here as we start the second half. Still have a height advantage inside, and remember, Marcus Pfizer playing with three fouls. Didn't think it would take too long to get after him. Cyclone ball down by a point to start the second half and a quick trap from Kansas. They get out of it. Trap wasn't all that much of a factor in the first 20 minutes. Iowa State did a nice job of recognizing it. Kept their spacing. Made the Jayhawks run a long way to come up with that trap. Nurse got loose for three. 11 points for Michael Nurse. He is three for four from behind the arc right now. And always a good sign when you can hit that first long-range bomb at the beginning of the second half. That kind of loosens things up and gets you on a roll. Collison inside to Chenoweth and 10 points for Eric Chenoweth. Good dumb down pass and Chenoweth working against Marcus Pfizer. Pfizer backing off a little bit defensively that time. He sat eight and a half minutes in that first half with three fouls. Tensley moving on Boshi in the lane with a spinning little jump shot. That was Roy Williams' biggest concern coming into this ball game. How they neutralize Tinsley out in front. Oh, that's Gregory with the answer at the other end. We're seeing some athleticism right now, both sides. One of the reasons that Kansas wanted to run the floor a little bit more this year is because of the talents of players like Kenny Gregory and Nick Bradford. Those two players especially have absolutely thrived on what Kansas is doing offensively this year. Five points for Gregory. Nurse looking for another three off target. Pfizer with a rebound, puts it up on the rim and no, and Chenoweth clears the boards for Kansas. I think that shot came a little bit early for Michael Nurse, but that was just a check to see how hot he is. Gregory with a miss, Nurse to Tinsley. They're moving on Boshi. Tinsley fires it way back, other side, three-point try, Cantrell Horton. No, and it's all blue jerseys under the basket. The guy who made that play was Stevie Johnson, running the middle of the floor, getting it all the way to the blocks. That forced KU to go in and defend him, left that three shot wide open. Chenoweth with a catch down low and a bucket. And he has a dozen points. And Iowa State is going to have to get some help for Marcus Pfizer inside. He's going to be beaten every time down the floor by Chenoweth if he can get the ball in that close. And a quick timeout taken here by Iowa State. Chenoweth with a dozen points, just a couple of rebounds, but watch him score. First two possessions by Kansas, and that's where they want to go right there. Chenoweth is the guy they have identified because Pfizer is guarding him. Iowa State trying to get the help there. Nurse tried to slap it out of Chenoweth's hands. He missed. Chenoweth with the inside position, and Marcus Pfizer has a big problem, as does Larry Eustace. Probably going to make a defensive switch, huh? Now you're going to have to do something, but I still think the Jayhawks are a smart enough team that they'll come down and find out where Pfizer is every time. Iowa State may have to go to his own defense, try to pack it in a little bit. Something they do a whole lot of, isn't it? They yeah. don't like it very much, but they may have to. No, but they do like winning, and they've kind of yes. gotten accustomed to that this year. <laughs> Finished at 500 last season. Off to a great start this year. It wasn't a sudden Eddie Sutton. I thought you hated zone defense, and he said, I do, but I hate losing more than I hate zones. Kansas, second half trend is two for 34 from three point range, their last five ball games. Shooters seem to run in streaks, and right now the Jayhawks are on a cold streak. See how Iowa State plays it for the next few minutes. Now the Jayhawks come out in the zone defense. They played quite a bit of zone in that first half. Nurse, Tinsley, Cantrell Horton all lined up around the perimeter. They have Stevie Johnson and Pfizer low, and Pfizer has it. Not for long. Kicked it right back out. Well, they are just surrounding when the ball comes down inside. Nine on the shot clock. They need to find one. Michael Nurse off the dribble and a foul. 
With six seconds left on the shot clock. Was it Boshi that got a hand on it? Either Boshi or Bradford. It might have been Bradford. That's three on Bradford if it is. Good move by Michael Nurse. Mentioned he was the point guard last year. A little between the feet dribble. That was Bradford's third, by the way, with 17.37 left in the game. Tinsley, Channel with reject. That's a tenth block for Kansas in this ballgame. And a great job by Collison. Did you see him giving ground along the baseline, knowing that he had the height advantage, wanted to make sure he didn't get burned on the baseline. Did not. He kept his hand straight up, got a hand on that shot. Paul, the Jayhawks blocked 11 shots their last game against Colorado. They blocked 10 here today. Boshi for three. Big bucket for Kansas. Boshi hit a three late in the first half. Hits a three here early on in the second half. Kansas still looking to get somebody hot from three-point range. They're two of six in the ballgame from three late. Jayhawks back up by five. Kendrell Horton deep on the way. Surely nice stop the Pfizer in the stuff. And they ran the high low that time. Kansas going to the trap. Defense, Iowa State worked on it yesterday again this morning at their walkthrough. Anytime they go into the trap, they want to go high-low. It certainly worked that time. And Iowa State back in the zone defense now. This will be a 2-3 zone. Gregory Boshi, quick pass. Bradford in the corner, looks inside. There's Drew Gooden with a quick little shot. And Gooden moves so well without the basketball. He is kind of a key player for Kansas when the opponents play the zone defense. He likes to work along the side of that lane, and he can score. Michael Nurse out front. Six points for Drew Gooden now, by the way. And again, the five-point lead to KU. Horton picked up the dribble. 16 on the shot clock. Nurse, Tinsley. And it comes Gooden to help Gregory on the side of the zone. Now Pfizer had it on the floor. Lay up too strong. And a rebound to Collison for Kansas. Marcus Pfizer last year started stepping out on the floor and shooting even three-point shots, but it really helped him. Putting the ball on the floor and getting to the glass. Tensley wins the battle on the boards, and he's going to take it behind the back to the lane. Now trying to break down Boshi. What a move in a bucket. Oh. And took that dribble into traffic. That was a great shot because he ran into traffic, kept his concentration, got the ball in the glass. And the bucket very quickly at the other end. And Kansas striking quickly on the offensive again. Again, it's Gooden. Entry pass from Boshi, and the Jayhawks answered very quickly. 46 41 Kansas. Now Tinsley against Boshi again. Surely. Tinsley for three. He doesn't, doesn't look to score early. Likes to dribble the ball, penetrate, and pass. But when that shot's there, he's willing to take it. Nick Bradford just committed his fourth foul. A charging foul. And he's going to have to take a seat and have a timeout. With 15.08 to play, two-point lead, Kansas. We're back after this from your friends at Phillips 66, the performance company. Jamel Tinsley leading Iowa State back within one of Kansas at the break. Don't go away. They're trying to get my lead to Kansas. There you see the time left, 15.08. Now watch Iowa State working high-low. Well, Kansas trying to trap the ball out on the perimeter, and Iowa State knows that they want to go high-low. They're surely flashing to the middle of the floor, forces that defense up as Collison goes to the player up the free-throw line. Pfizer moving without the ball, has the dump-down pass and the dunk at the end. Iowa State worked that to perfection, and now foul trouble for the Kansas Jayhawks. Nick Bradford has his four. Pfizer. Has three for Iowa State. Set down the last eight and a half minutes of the first half. Tinsley, Michael Nurse, down inside. Pfizer working against all kinds of people in there. That shot might have been touched. Gooden was there. Chenoweth was there. Well, it's tough to score on Kansas inside. Pfizer got the ball in the area on the floor where he wants it, but still had to shoot over the outstretched arms of a seven-footer. Now Tinsley with a jump buck at the baseline. Whoa! Jamal Tinsley. Well, he has nine second half points. In the first half, it was the off guards. It was Nurse and Horton firing in points. Now here in the second half, they have found a red hot Tinsley. Tied at 46. Chenoweth looped it in and out. Tough shooting luck for Kansas. And Iowa State hunting the lead. Tinsley's going to break him down. And he lost the ball in the lane. Out of bounds. It'll be Kansas basketball. The turnover. That's only the seventh turnover charged to Iowa State in this game. They're only averaging. 14 turnovers a game. 
This over the years has been one of the great matchups in the old Big 12 or the old Big 8 now that the Big 12 Kansas playing at Iowa State the two areas that Kansas had the most trouble is at Missouri and here in Ames. Close his three long ball Pfizer throws down his sixth rebound. Still tied at 46 14 minutes to play Pfizer driving it to the baseline. He hadn't given up on the idea of a shot yet. Now he has Nurse. Heavy traffic. Foul. And the bucket in and out. Tough roll for Iowa State. That's the roll they got at the end of the game down at Oklahoma in regulation time that wouldn't go down for on the other. This day. is the point guard and Michael Nurse. He had that position last year. Notice how he leads with his body to create the contact. If you create the contact, you can fight through it. Had that ball up on the rim, just didn't get it to fall. State again this year has made more free throws than their opponents have attempted. In fact, they've made 41 more free throws than their opponents have attempted. Get to the line here this afternoon. That's a stat that they put up every year for the last four or five years. Now, Michael Nurse with four points today. Well, they started it with Tim Floyd. That was one of the things that they kept track of. And Larry Stacey does a lot of the things that Tim Floyd started when he came here to Iowa State. Two point lead Cyclone. Heinrich Chenoweth. Axtell. London and Gooden on the floor for Kansas and a bad pass. Axel threw it away. Pfizer's going to dribble the ball. Still going to dribble the ball. Now he's going to take it inside and score. Dribbling it down the lane. He got a pick that allowed him to get to the glass. Listen to the crowd in Hilton Coliseum. They're into this thing. Gooden spinning jump shot. Won't go. London's tip no. Rebound front four on the floor and Iowa State has it. Kentrell Horton to Tinsley. Moved by Axtell. Michael Nurse for three. No, oh, and Axtell with a rebound and a big O oh, from the crowd like the air just went out of it. Well, they got the shot that they wanted. Tinsley really sensing that they had numbers, momentum. He pushed it into the offensive end, got the hands, ball in the hands of a hot shooter. A battle for the basketball. A foul is called on Drew Gooden of Kansas. After the turnover by Kansas. Marcus Pfizer, you don't think of him as a guard that pushes the ball, but he pushed it this last time. Notice the pick that he gets from Paul Shirley. Got a step on his man, got it on the glass. And the Cyclones are rolling. Well, I just saw a great sign across the way. This crowd are all standing, and some young student, there's a sign, see it, it says, stand, old people. <laughs> the kids are urging the old folks together. <laughs> well, it's kind of cold here this afternoon in Ames outside. It's hot inside the Coliseum. Jamel Tinsley trying to break down. Heinrich gives it up. Paul Shirley moving on Collison and gives it outside. Good position defense by Chenoweth working against Pfizer. Heinrich stopped Tinsley that time, and here comes Kansas with the basketball. Marlon London. Kansas doesn't run quite as well without Gregory on the floor or Brad. Both those players are on the KU bench right now. Chenoweth with a tough catch, and now a foul on Iowa State. Shirley had a hand on it trying to deflect it. And the foul on Jamal Tinsley would be his first foul of the day. I figured this would be a good matchup all afternoon. Paul Shirley working inside against Eric Chen with similar size players, similar skills. Good battle inside the whistle. I believe that foul went on Tinsley that time. It did. Chenoweth with the basketball. 12-23 left in the game. KU has not scored in now three minutes and 15 seconds. Collison wanted a shot, couldn't get it. Axtell at the top of the key against Horton. Big height advantage, and Luke Axtell fires it. Misses. Rebound, Iowa State. Collison got a hand on it. He couldn't control it. Look at Tinsley in the lane. Shovels it back outside. 12 minutes to play. 50-46, Iowa State. It's been a remarkable turnaround for Iowa State in one season. Last year, they finished at 15 and 15, well down in the Big 12 Conference. This year, they're up among the leaders. Tinsley to the bucket. A charging foul on Jamal Tinsley. No bucket. His second foul. I think this is a hook. I think he hooked the defensive player when he took the spin move to get it to the baseline. Get another look at it right here. Working against Heinrich. Yeah, there's the hook move. Got it on the hip, forced him out of position. Got the layup, but he was whistled for the foul. Larry Eustace not liking the call at all. 11.48 to play. We've got a ball game. Iowa State by four. Time for Studio 66 update from Lubbock, Texas. The Sooners starting to flex their muscles. Uh, you know who. Eduardo Nahara with the offensive rebound and the tip. And right now, Oklahoma on top, 54-43. Let's go back to Ames now. Fred White and Paul Splitor. All right, thank you, Doug. 
Been a close one here. Kansas got out early, led by as many as eight. Seemed like they had firm control for a long time, but Iowa State behind the three in the first half coming back and now leading by four with 11.44 to play, and Kansas sets the attack. Kirk Heinrich runs the team right now. Many times Kansas plays a little bit faster when he's on the floor. Axtell would be a guy that they'd want to get hot from long range. He is constantly looking for the three-point shot. 12 on the shot clock. Heinrich on the dribble and Tinsley with him. Now push. That's going to be a charging foul on Heinrich. For a second. I think Heinrich got a little bit impatient that time. Still plenty of time left on the shot clock, but shots did not come early in the possession. And I believe they were looking for Axtell. They had a couple sets set up for him. He ran across a couple picks trying to get freed up. It never really happened. Iowa State by four. Tinsley against Heinrich. Horton getting a screen from Shirley. Collison coming to help down inside Pfizer. Working down in there against Chenoweth. And Axtell had a hand on it. Maybe Chenoweth too. And you talk about playing in the land of the Giants. Collison's in there along with Axtell. Every one of those guys, 6'9", 6'10", and 7 feet. Foul on Kentrell Horton would be his first. Today's game is brought to you by Phillips 66, where we put the best in our super clean gasoline so you get the most out of your car. Choose Phillips 66, the performance company. Heinrich looking inside of Chenoweth. Now Axel. Oh, did he walk? He kept that foot on the floor apparently. Now it goes up an off balance shot that Chenoweth returns and scores with. 14 points. Luke Axtell kept his foot on the floor. Yeah. There was no travel, even though it was close. Could have maybe gotten a charge as he got into the lane, but Kansas able to keep the ball alive. Chenoweth with the finish. Kansas now with 11 blocks, the same number they had their last game out against Colorado. 50-48 Iowa State, 10-20 to play. Very physical ball game inside now. Surely working inside against Collison. These are now well out of the floor against Chenoweth. Michael Nurse drives it into the lane in heavy traffic, and Nick Collison had a hand on his arm. Personal foul number three on Nick Collison with 10.06 to play. Fred Chenoweth got that basket. KU had gone four minutes, 55 seconds without scoring. Penetration by Nurse right there. Nothing working offensively for the Cyclones. Able to get it down low. He'll be at the free throw line. Michael Nurse, four for four at the line. 13 points today. Make it 14. This career high 19. There's the foul trouble and a considerable amount of it, really. Well, a considerable amount, but look at the names. Chenoweth, Bradford, Collison, all starters for Kansas. Pfizer, Tinsley. The Cyclones build their team around those two guys. Interesting now, Paul. Kansas just got smaller. They take Chenoweth and Collison out of the game. First miss from the line for Nurse today. Rebounded by Jeff Carey, who's on the floor for the first time today for Kansas. Well, you don't see a whole lot of Jeff Carey until the Jayhawks get in trouble. But so many times when he hits the floor, he's a sound, fundamental player. Makes good things happen for KU. They don't lose a lot when he's up. Kansas got three cracks at it, and Drew Gooden with a stick back, picks up his 10th point, and now it's a one-point lead for Iowa State. Much different lineup on the floor for Kansas now. Yeah, much different lineup, but they don't lose a whole lot. You talk about that Kansas depth, even when you get way down on their bench, they come out with quality players that could be starting other places. Tinsley, just a tough shot. He's got it back. Now Pfizer shoots it over Carey and knocks it down, and Marcus Pfizer has 10. Well, you wonder why he's been the go-to guy here at Iowa State since he was a freshman. He's now a junior. Still the cornerstone of this program. On the floor for Kansas, London, Carey, Axel, Heinrich, and Gooden. And Gooden right there for the stuff. And how about the pass from Luke Axtell? Great angle on the pass. Gooden moving along the backside of that defense. Axtell found him, and they've got a strong finish. One point lead, Iowa State. 8.57 to play. Kenny Gregory set to check back in. Stevie Johnson will return for Iowa State. One four high set up that time for Iowa State. Boy, Shirley ducks his shoulder, goes to the hoop, scores, and is fouled. How about Paul Shirley? Well, two years ago, you've never seen him even try to make a move like that. Everybody kind of standing around on the floor. Nobody moving for Iowa State, so Shirley saw a little gap in the defense. Slices in there. I think it was Carey that caught him on the arm. Look at that. Everybody standing around for Iowa State. Nobody moving towards the basket. That's one of the things the Cyclones have done well this year. Attack the basket. 
This time it's surely on the attack. Looking at the lineup for Kansas now, Gregory's in and Axtell back out, but it's as if Roy Williams now is going to marshal his forces, stay out of foul trouble, and hope for the late run. Surely now with nine points and seven rebounds. From Meriden, Kansas played really well against Kansas State a week or so ago. There's his fan club. He played well against Kansas State. Now he comes out of the game. To a great hand from the crowd here in Hilton. They will need him for some important minutes down the stretch here this afternoon. Larry Eustace said earlier, I just hope we're in it near the end of the ball game and we've got a chance to win it. Well, they're in it with 834 to play and leading by four. Gooden, Heinrich fires for three and got it. And Heinrich silences this home crowd. Eight points for the freshman from Sioux City, Iowa. One point lead Iowa State. Gooden with defensive help that time. Tinsley on the wing. Down low, Pfizer. Turnaround jump shot. Good. Marcus Pfizer taking advantage of a smaller lineup. And a turnover on the inbounds pass. Iowa State gets it right back. When you get into conference play, they talk about value your possession. And both teams have very much valued it over the last couple of minutes, but a costly turnover right there for Kansas. And now Chenoweth and Collison set to come back on the floor as Pfizer's hurt Kansas with a couple of quick baskets. Tinsley Pfizer, he's going to fire for three, and he got it! Marcus Pfizer with a three-point field goal. And Iowa State has their largest lead of the day. It's a five-pointer. Pfizer started doing that last year when they needed outside scoring. Hasn't had to do it often this year. Gregory with an air ball at the other end and a rebound by Tinsley. Cantrell Horton. Michael Nurse for three. Won't go in the rebound to Kansas. That would have been a huge basket for Iowa State. They could have gotten that one down. Shot came early, but again, it's a high percentage shot for a good shooter. Pass intended down low. Knocked away by Stevie Johnson. Timeout here. 7 0 5 9 to play. Marcus Pfizer's fifth three point goal of the year. We'll be right back after this from your friends at Phillips 66, the performance company. Well, give Dorothy credit. <laughs> no, this isn't Kansas. This is Ames, Iowa, and this is the Cyclone crowd. Now let's take a look at the sleep-in game summary. Eric Chenoweth. Kansas has 12 blocks this afternoon. Chenoweth with a dozen points, three rebounds, also has three fouls. Iowa State got into this thing when they started hitting three-pointers. Now 7 of 15 from long range. Spicer has gotten red hot. Remember, he sat a lot in the first half with three fouls. He has 15 points right now. Kansas ball down six. Big possession for the Jayhawks. Got to think they'll try to get back inside. Maybe Chenoweth, maybe Collison. Boshi kept that foot on the floor. He started to shoot and held up. Collison working hard against Pfizer. Fade away. Got it down. And what a shot for Nick Collison. Yeah, big time shot for a young freshman who doesn't play like one against Marcus Pfizer. Playing like he doesn't have three fouls. Stepped up, took the defensive pressure, made some contact. Collison hit a big shot. Cantrell Horton to Tinsley. Tinsley down the baseline. Backs out. Paul Shirley set to re-enter the game for Iowa State. Cyclones by four with 6.26 to play. Marcus Pfizer blocked and fouled by Eric Chenoweth. That's four on Eric Chenoweth. Well, take a look at the move on the other end. Nick Collison without the ball, working with Pfizer. You talk about a freshman wanting the ball at a clutch time in a game. Look at Pfizer step up. Keep the contact on him. Big shot by Nick Collison. Marcus Pfizer to the free throw line. Iowa State leading by four. Pfizer with 11 second half points, 15 in the game. There you see Chenoweth's fourth foul, and Roy Williams not making a move to substitute right now. It suddenly got very quiet in here. 16 for Pfizer, 12 in the second half. Now Chenoweth's going to come out. Ashante Johnson will enter for Kansas. I believe that is the first time Ashante Johnson has hit the floor, and Roy Williams doesn't like to do that. He has always said if you're going to use a guy late, you really need to use him in the first half so he can kind of get accustomed to the game. So Ashante Johnson in a tough position right now for Kansas. Six points for Marcus Pfizer. Luke Axtell. Found Gregory inside. He was blocked. 
by Pfizer. Kenny Gregory so quick to the glass, got that one swatted away. Michael Nurse, it won't go. And Boshi grabs the ball off the floor for Kansas, and the action is heated in Ames right now. Back still driving hard to the baseline. Boshi down inside, Ashante Johnson, fade away shot, won't fall. Pfizer with the board for Iowa State, and the Cyclones have the ball in a six-point lead. 547 to play. And Fred, this is an absolute war inside. Nick Collison, the last time down, made a great defensive play as he moved surely out of rebounding position. And Marcus Pfizer on the other end. Big time interior work to clear out a couple Jayhawks to get a rebound. Roy Williams put his club back in the zone. 528 to play. Iowa State's going to be a little patient. Eight on the shot clock. Now they're going to have to look for it. And Nurse inside Shirley. Turn, a hook, won't fall. Got it back. Big offensive board. How about going from one side of the basket clear to the other side and control it? He may be having his best game in an Iowa State uniform today. Not maybe from a number standpoint, but just from a game standpoint. Well, you learn so much sitting on the sideline, watching the game, seeing what the coaches do, what they're teaching. And you don't want to miss the next couple of years when you're back onto the active roster. 13 on the shot clock. It's to Shirley inside. Kicks it out. Three-point try. Tinsley in and out. Tough shooting left for Tinsley. And here come the Jayhawks down by six. Looks like he had it online. Not soft touch. Many times that ball rolls in. Ball knocked away by Iowa State. 4.43 to play. The Cyclones with a six-point lead. Larry Eustacey trying to nurse this lead home. And Roy Williams on the other bench trying to lead his ball club back. There were some times in the first half where it looked like the Cyclones a little bit winded, but they have held on against a much deeper Kansas team. Ashante Johnson picked up the dribble. Nick Collison surely faces him. 16, Boshi for three, 16 on the shot clock, missed. Rebound, Marcus Pfizer, and he is getting on the boards now. That's his ninth rebound. Boshi continues to struggle from long range. They backed off Bradford, all teams do. But you need to get a hand in the face of Boshi when he launches one. Nurse to Tinsley to the lane, won't go. Shirley's tip, no. And KU gets it back. Here they come with Boshi floating up the wing. Gregory, Chenoweth, that's Collison. Collison in the lane, shot, won't fall. Ball fought for, and it's out of bounds to Kansas under their basket with four minutes and a second to play. There's only been two points scored in the last three minutes, and I think you have to credit both schools with their solid defensive play. It's a battle, isn't it? Yes, it is a battle. Points are going to be hard to come by the rest of the way. Boshi inbounds to Collison to Johnson. Boshi, quick three-point try, too strong, and the rebound battle in Bradford, and Johnson all hooked up, and Nick Bradford just fouled out of the game. Kentrell Johnson had the inside position on him, and it turned into a shoving contest. Bradford fouls out with 3.55 to play. Nick Bradford, over the last couple months, has developed into the leader for this Kansas Jayhawk basketball team. Check out the position by Horton. Just moving Bradford out of the way. Nothing Nick can do if he wants to get to the ball except reach over the top. Larry Eustace, says, oh, thank you for that whistle. <laughs> That's one of them I don't have to worry about the rest of today. The crowd here in Hilton stealing a page from Kansas fans, waving the wheat at Nick Bradford as he has to leave. Yeah, eight rebounds, five assists, no points. And so many times, and while he does do some scoring for Kansas, those other things that he does helps his team even more. Seven-point lead, Iowa State. Control Horton with his seventh point of the day. Biggest lead of the day for Iowa State. 3.55 to play. Iowa State by eight. They are loving it here in Hilton Coliseum and Ames. to play and Hilton Magic right now doing its work. Iowa State has gone up by eight matching the biggest lead by either side today the biggest lead Iowa State has had and this crowd a capacity crowd in Hilton is into it big time. There's your reset four timeouts for KU three for Iowa State you see the team foul Iowa State has fouls to give if they need to right now. Well, they might be willing to give one or two here in there to stop a shot. Kansas has scored two points over the last four and a half minutes. 
Last year in a win here at Hilton by Iowa State. Hey, you got 18 points the entire second half. Ball knocked loose and a foul call on Paul Shirley. With a disbelieving look on his face, his third. Paul Shirley has had an outstanding game here today. He scored 10 points. He has eight rebounds. He got seven of those in the first half. And now here comes Chenoweth back onto the floor for Kansas. He has four fouls. He's replacing. Who sat down? Nick Collison. Nick Collison. No, Collison's no, he's still, still out there. there. Kenny Gregory. Boshi. KU needs a big bucket. Chenoweth. Jammed by Shirley. Trying to back in. Turnaround fadeaway shot. Won't fall. Collison had it for a moment. It's out of bounds off the hands of Iowa State. And yeah, you talk about a battle. Nick Collison working against Marcus Beiser. There you stay. She hoping his guys are strong enough to keep the taller Jayhawks away from the basket. Roy Williams has to hope that his club can get hot here in the next three and a half minutes. Gregory takes the inbounds pass. Shinnerwith comes out. Shirley comes with him. Boshi against Tinsley. Now Collison against Pfizer. Got it to the baseline and fouled. That's four on Pfizer. Pfizer started the second half with three fouls, so he has been a huge success for Iowa State. 13 points, six rebounds here in the second half, and that's the first foul that he's picked up, picked up in the final 20 minutes. With 3.24 to play, Nick Collison goes to the line for Kansas, and he will hear it from the crowd here in Ames now in his first game back in Iowa. Iowa State wanted him, both he and Heinrich, and they were being recruited just as Tom Davis left at Iowa and Tim Floyd left here. Well, that hurts the programs when you've got some instability in the coaching department. You've done a lot of work in the recruiting. You'd like to keep your in-state guys at home, but you can't blame the players for going other places. You've got that insecurity and instability in the coaching ranks. we got one of them. 3.15 to play, Iowa State by seven, and in no hurry here. Now you wouldn't think that they'd want to shoot anything in the first few seconds of the possession. They pair the ball, keep it out front, but at the same time, you don't want to lose your momentum. You've still got to run your offense, make sure you get a good shot, you need more points. First to Pfizer, in and out, it won't go. Chenoweth with the board for Kansas. Tough shooting luck for Iowa State. And the Jayhawks still breathing here with 2.51 to play, down by seven. And they need something. They go to Chenoweth. Works against Shirley. Turn around. And a foul call. He'll shoot two. The foul on Paul Shirley is his fourth. Two forty-five to play. Chenoweth, a good free throw shooter, 79% from the line. Well, Fred, at this stage of the ball game, in a, in a crucial ball game for both teams, I don't think you can worry about foul trouble. You're a frontline guy with fouls. You're still going to be on the floor. Time to go. Time to go after. Chenoweth with 14 points. Make a 15. He has four rebounds today. Roy Williams shouting instructions. Iowa State now has missed their last six field goal tries. Let's see if they can come up with something. And a timeout taken here. 2.45 to play. Iowa State will have the ball and a five-point lead. Larry Eustachie very calmly talking to his club as they come in for the timeout. The Cyclones have missed their last six shots. KU missed their last five. The defenses are really stepping up and playing very, very tough basketball here, Paul. I think Roy Williams is going to want to step up a little bit more with his defense. I think they're probably, even if they come out in a man-to-man, -man, I think they're going to want to jump and trap, try to create some turnovers. Everybody else step up, try to be an interceptor, get some turnovers. Iowa State, on the other hand, is want to keep their spacing on the floor. They worked over, on it over the last couple days. Take care of the ball, spread out, make the Jayhawks cover a lot of floor space to get to that trap. Should be a lot of fun down the stretch. Paul Shirley just <laughs> looked over and kind of raised his eyebrows. There's the foul trouble. He raised his eyebrows as if to say, it's heck of a game, isn't it? It's kind of fun. <laughs> I'm glad he's look. out there and we're over here, though. <laughs> yeah. He has a little more responsibility than we do. Lots of foul trouble, as you just saw. Ken Trell Horton. Down low it goes. Tough shot in there by Shirley. A block. Knocked out of there. The 12th block for Kansas. Boshi to Heinrich. To Chenoweth. Shirley has four fouls. Double team. Help down in there from Jamal Tinsley and Michael Nurse. It was Michael Nurse. 
And the ball stays with Kansas with 2.21 to play. And great defense by Chenoweth on the other end. Got a hand on the ball, swatted away. Wanted the ball on the offensive end. Now, Eric Chenoweth is a guy that really needs to step up for Kansas. He spent a lot of minutes on the floor the last three years, and they're looking for a go-to guy inside. You don't want it to have to be the freshman Collison. Remember that Chenoweth has four fouls. He needs a cutter, finds Boshi. Boshi's going to fire. Block by Jamal Tinsley. Oh, what a huge defensive play with two minutes, four seconds to go. Tinsley's second block of the day. The leading shot blocker on this Iowa State team. It's his 24th block of the year. The clock under two minutes. Well, Iowa State of, by five. Most of his block shots have come from the backside. Now the trap and the foul call on Marlon London of Kansas. KU, as you said, Paul, trying to step up that defensive pressure, and Iowa State might have to win it at the free throw line. Here's the advanced auto parts play of the game. Both teams have been solid defensively. Could have been a bigger defensive play in the day than that one by Tinsley. Remember in advanced auto parts, the best part is our people. Tinsley, six for six from the line today. Six point lead Iowa State with 144 to play. Look at seven. 141 to play, and the crowd here in Ames on their feet and roaring for the defense now. Boshi couldn't shoot it. Heinrich drives it in the lane. Collison, and a foul is called when the ball went in the lane. It is against Kansas. Iowa State has the ball. And you talk about a big play. Marcus Pfizer with four fouls steps up and takes the charge. Good defense out front by Nurse. Here comes Heinrich doing the right thing. And look at Marcus Pfizer. If he's not in position, he leaves. That will put Pfizer on the line at the other end. Iowa State with a seven-point lead, 133 to play. Pfizer has hit four out of five free throw attempts today. 17 points and nine boards on the day for Marcus Pfizer. These are huge free throws. Got to be able to hit free throws down the stretch. Change now for Kansas. Luke Axtell, they need another long range gunner. Tall enough to shoot over a defense. Much smaller players will be on Luke out on the perimeter. Marlon London leads. So Roy Williams, three shooters on the floor now that have long range potential. Biggest lead today has been eight. It's eight right now. Pfizer trying to make it nine. And does. 133 to play. Kansas need points. They need them quickly. Heinrich trying to shake Tinsley Camp. Boshi. Falls to the floor, and a foul call on Paul Shirley, who fouls out of the game. Paul Shirley is going to leave the floor. I'll tell you what, that kid turned in. What a performance. You can see the hurt on his face as he goes out. He didn't have anything to feel bad about. He played a great game. So much was made of the Iowa players coming back home to their home state for the University of Kansas. Paul Shirley played well earlier this year against Kansas State. Wanted to play well against Kansas. He's from Topeka just outside Lawrence. Fouls out nine rebounds, ten points. And a couple of assists. And a huge ovation from the crowd here in Ames. And now Boshi will go to the line for Kansas. An 83% free throw shooter, and the Hawks need it. 121 to play. They are down by nine. The crowd tried to distract it. And he missed, and the ball slapped around. Saved by Boshi to Heinrich for three, and a miss. <laughs> Iowa State comes out with the ball, and a nine point lead with 113 to play, and Hilton Magic and Ames is really working. Kansas took control of this game early in the first half. Marcus Pfizer in foul trouble missed the last eight and a half minutes of the half. But the three point shot brought Iowa State back. And now, welcome those of you watching 
the other game in the Big 12, the second half of the doubleheader, Larry Eustace's club breathing on a win right now with a minute 13 to play. Great to have you with us in Ames. It has been a heck of a ball game. And they are winning it now at the free throw line, Paul Stiller. Iowa State has already beaten Missouri, Colorado, and Texas A&M on this floor. A couple road wins already, and they would like nothing better to, than to hang another loss on the Jayhawks today. First double-digit lead of the day, Stevie Johnson. They had a negative 10-point lead, and now Kansas with the ball, a minute 10 to play. Marcus Pfizer's had a huge second half here today with 15 points and nine boards. Big three for Nick Collison. And Kansas still alive. A timeout taken here. 15 points for Nick Collison in his return to Iowa. A minute three to play and a seven-point lead to Iowa State. Kansas does not have time to look inside for interior scoring. They're going to have to have people step out on the perimeter. Now, Collison is not going to be one of their first options to shoot that three, but got a big one down right there. Kansas able to stop the clock. Now they've got to come out in the full court pressure, try to create a turnover. If they don't do that, they're going to have to be able to get the foul. Give the foul, put people <laughs> on the free throw line, and hope that they miss. <laughs> That's a young fan in Cotton Coliseum. <laughs> you think they're talking to us? We're about the only people in here not standing. <laughs> I tell you what, it's been a fun afternoon in Hilton Coliseum. Well, if Kansas gets a stop here in a bucket, it's going to be a frantic finish in all likelihood. A minute three to play and a seven-point lead right now for Iowa State, and they have the ball. Iowa State has to get the ball inbounds and hit free throws the rest of the way. And remember, if you foul them, they're good free throw shooters. Stevie Johnson, they break it out in open court. They had Michael Nurse up court, didn't see him. Now they got a problem, and Pfizer's going to bail them out. And kick the ball back outside, nearly intercepted by Marlon London, and now he fouls Cantrell Horton, a 74% free throw shooter. Iowa State right now, Paul, 21 for 25 from the free throw line today. Kansas from the line, just 9 for 14. Well, the Cyclones have done a lot of good things this year. Last year, they averaged 63 points per ball game. This year, 79 points per game. That's third in the conference. Another good offensive day today for the Cyclones. Cantrell Horton has made both free throw attempts today, 8.6 rebounds. Well, now the Cyclones have missed their last two free throw tries. Well, Williams, more substitutions, offensive players on the floor. Gooden returns. Good. Collison's on the floor. The little people, the guards, the, the quick guys are back to the bench. Cantrell Horton trying to put Iowa State back up by eight with 50 seconds to play and does. <laughs> Kirk Heinrich, Kansas has to go. Heinrich picks up the dribble, needs help. Boshi, tough defense, Iowa State, 36 seconds to play, and Iowa State tried to dig the ball out of there. They've got a double team. Now Boshi, long three-point try, and he knocked it down. Huge bucket for Kansas. Nine points for Boshi now. Now a five-point lead for Iowa State. Iowa State got caught that time on a double team, trying to trap and steal the ball. Good recognition by Kansas. Find the open player. It's Boshi. It's a crucial three. As of right now, here's the way the Big 12 looks. Missouri won their game today, so they go to five and one. If Kansas would lose this game, if Kansas should lose this game, they'd be five and two. Iowa State with a win would be six and one. That is not assured right now. There are 29 seconds to play. The last time Iowa State beat a ranked team was March 15th, 97. They beat number 10 Cincinnati. Lost to Cincinnati earlier this year. Iowa State has not broken into the top 25 yet this year. They're ranked 28th. If they win this one, they will be. Kansas came in ranked 12th. Both teams at five and one in the conference right now. Stevie Johnson gets it inbounds. They break it up court to Pfizer. Pfizer clears it. 24 seconds to play. Stevie Johnson. Pinsler. They're playing keep away. 18 seconds to play. Horton foul by Terry Nooner. They put Nooner in the game to give some foul. Nooner was on the floor along with London, along with Heinrich and Boshi. Four guards, one interior player. Full court pressure all over the place, and Iowa State doing a good job of staying away from that pressure, sp spreading the floor, lead passes, stay away from those fouls, kill some clock. Kansas trying to get Drew Gooden back in the game. Horton on the free throw line. Hit three out of four, five point lead Iowa State, 17.4 seconds to play. Well, there you stay. 
Today she said this morning to us, Paul, I just hope we can be in a position at the end of the game close enough to win it. Well, here they are. Well, anytime you play Kansas, you have to be concerned about a possible blowout because they have that kind of potential. This team looked like they were on the ropes earlier. They were able to fight off them, find a way to stay in the game. Iowa State by seven, 15 seconds to play. It'll take a miracle for the Jayhawks. Boshi, Gooden for three. Rebound, Stevie Johnson for Iowa State. And here come the Cyclones, four seconds to play. Nurse going <laughs> to travel. <laughs> but it must have been a whistle back down court. Now, what do we got? The horn is blown. Did time run out? I think the game was over. There's something going on, though. Well, there's still one second on the game clock. Michael Nurse jumped in the air like he's going to dunk the ball and then came down with it. There's a clock problem. It says one second left on the clock. Michael Nurse thought it was over, went in the air, and came down with the ball. Iowa State's won the game. That's clear. They're up by seven. Now they got 4.3 seconds back on the clock. And how about Larry Eustacey? Last year, his team went 6-10 and ten in this conference. We're in ninth place. And today, they're playing for the lead. Now they put four seconds back on the clock, and Stevie Johnson on the free throw line. There was a foul at the other end. And nobody heard the whistle. I think it happened just as soon as he got the ball and started up court, back in front of the Kansas bench. Eight point lead. Kansas ball, three seconds to play. Tinsley knocked it loose, and it is over. Iowa State wins it 74 66. Just watch the crowd in Hilton Coliseum as we go away. What a win for Iowa State here today, and that man, Larry Eustacey, shaking hands with Nick Collis. For Paul Splitorf and our entire crew, Fred White, hey, thanks for watching. Good afternoon from Ames. Big 12 basketball is brought to you by Phillips 66, where we put the best in our super clean gasolines so you can get the most out of your car. Choose Phillips 66, the performance company. Sonic, America's drive-in. Proud sponsor of Big 12 basketball on ESPN Plus. National Car Rental. What are you waiting for? Let's go. Advanced Auto Parts. The best part is our people. Southwestern Bell, a member of the SBC Global Network. Buick. Isn't it time for a real car? And by Bank of America.